calls over to Hello, we want to welcome our viewers joining us here in Southside Virginia at BTW 21 News. I'm Dustin Staples, filling in for Louis Schmier. I want to give him a big shout out for filling in for me while I was gone. I took some vacation time uh, away, as you you have to typically do that to take a break from the news and the weather on that matter as well. But again, thank you, Louis, uh, for doing uh, the job. That is a interesting, fun job seeing him do the weather. I always enjoy uh, getting a kick about how he does the weather forecast. But you know what? Everybody's different at the their own rate of speed. So I'm back with you filling in for him today and tomorrow as well as the week in review. Well, we've got some special announcements scattered through the rest of the week. We'll get to that a little bit later on, but let's get to the news here, shall we? We begin here where, of course, you know, we had severe thunderstorm that moved through across our region on a Tuesday afternoon. Unfortunately, it left an individual struck by lightning. A 22-year-old woman was struck by lightning in Henry County Tuesday night. According to the Martinsville Henry County 911 Center, a Henry County deputy at the Adult Detention Center got a call that a woman was struck by lightning. The Henry County Department of Public Safety responded to the 1,000 block of Morningside Drive in Bassett for a report that a victim had a decreased level of consciousness. The victim was not taken to the hospital. We're going to continue news in Henry County on this Wednesday morning where a two-vehicle crash took place in Collinsville. Our own Chad Hall has that report. I'm Chad Hall for BTW 21 News. Um, we're right here, right up above Zentmeyer Chiropractics, um, right here on Kings Mountain Road where we have had a two-car collision here. Again, we're, we've got a Cadillac. Two cars here has uh, met in the turning lane. As you can see, the turning lane um, that goes down here to Virginia Avenue. It move around a little bit here, but you can see the two cars uh, have met here in the turning lane, sort of, as you're going down into Virginia Avenue. And again, again, we're at Kings Mountain Road, right at the intersection here of, I think it's Sarah Avenue. Uh, you can see um, EMTs and everyone here uh, beginning to work the scene. I'm Chad Hall for BTW 21 News. Moving now to school news in the Martinsville Henry County region where a threat was detected. Uh, thankfully, this was not a real threat that was passed around on social media, and here's what we know so far. The Henry County Sheriff's Office said they received information about a possible threat against an unnamed school that was posted on Facebook Wednesday, May 17th. The post on Facebook originated from Snapchat. The message was then saved and shared through multiple social media sites. After receiving the initial complaint, the Henry County Sheriff's Office began an investigation to determine where the post originated. Through the course of the investigation, it was determined that a Henry County High School student posted the message after seeing it on another social media site. Investigators spoke to the student and obtained information that led deputies to Eden, North Carolina. Deputies from the Henry County Sheriff's Office then contacted the Eden Police Department. The Eden Police Department stated that they and the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office were aware of the post and had been investigating it since Tuesday. Both agencies advised that the post had circulated through multiple jurisdictions across North Carolina and Virginia. North Carolina law enforcement had tracked down the original Snapchat post and are currently following leads. All evidence indicate the threat is not credible and the original post is part of a TikTok challenge that began out of state. Based on this information, it was determined that at no time did anyone make a threat to a Henry County school or student, which is good news there. The Eden Police Department and Rockingham County Sheriff's Office are still investigating that complaint along with the assistance of the Henry County Sheriff's Office. The Henry County Sheriff's Office takes these complaints very seriously and wants to thank the community and other agencies for a quick response in locating information pertaining to a social media post. However, parents are encouraged to talk to their children about reporting suspicious activity or disturbing information to a trusted adult. Please remind them if they become aware of something of concern, their first response should not be to spread the rumors. They should report it to their parents, school officials, or law enforcement so that the situation can be handled quickly. We're going to end now on some good news in Martin Henry County where the 
A center recently held its ribbon cutting. Uh, this involves the Parks and Recreation Center. Louis Shamir had a chance to catch up with this report. All right, there's new live here in uh, Collins, and we're here with uh, the director of Parks and Rec for Henry County. We're talking about the uh, official opening of the rec center. So tell us how exciting is that? It is just super exciting to have our first indoor facility where we can have programs for kids, adults, and seniors. Um, it's been a long time coming. And uh, it's just awesome to have a home where we can offer programs. We have people in here most every day that participate in our programs, and uh, especially the seniors. We have a large senior population here, and there's virtually every day there's something for them to do down here, and they love coming and hanging out, uh, socializing, taking classes, doing activities, having meals, and just being able to be part of the community. All right, so I know that a lot is, is happening here as some of the things you mentioned, and you have uh, you know big events like uh, the Miss Henry County Fair pageant that's happening here. What are some other big events that people might know about that, that happen here? Sure, so in June we have the Miss Henry County Fair pageant. Um, in the wintertime we have our Girls Volleyball League, which is in here for several months. We have our daddy-daughter dance around Valentine's Day. The summertime we have camps in here for kids. Uh, the seniors play pickleball, they do Zumba, line dance. Uh, they play bingo, do bridge, canasta, painting classes, computer classes, just all types of activities. One of the biggest things that viewers, you know, talk about is saving money and saving that taxpayer's money. How is this going to help with that? I know that you have to invest some to make some, you know, you have to renovate the building, but you're not going to have to rent out all those facilities that you used to. Is that correct? Yeah, well, we basically, we didn't really have a place to have anything before. So we were renting space here from the YMCA and our parks maintenance staff did the vast majority of the renovation projects here. So um, it's just, it's, as we have more people move to our community, uh, it's just it's great to have a place for people to be able to come and do recreational activities, um, exercise, stay healthy, fit. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for the first section of this newscast. Do stick around. I've got your local weather forecast coming up right after this. Two is always better than one. And here at Autos by Nelson, we definitely agree. That's why we double your warranty on all new vehicles. Get double the years and double the miles of coverage. And we'll be sure to give you double the customer service while you're here. How may we help you? You guys really take this double your warranty thing seriously. Double up at Autos by Nelson. Stop by any of our locations today or visit us online. Come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your time slot booked. Do you need a tractor and loader? backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Blue Ridge Aquaculture is hiring both full-time and part-time drivers. Home every other night. CDL, Class A, and two years of experience required. Must be at least 21 years of age with a good driving record. 
excellent benefit package including medical, dental, vision, life, short-term disability, and long-term disability, and 401k. Apply online at www.blueridgeaquaculture.com or give us a call 276-632-9440 to make an appointment to apply in person at 555 Industrial Park Drive, Ridgeway, Virginia, 24148 during our normal business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. All right, we want to welcome you back here to our, for our program and our weather forecast. Again, big shout out to uh, Mr. Luis Romero, the face of BTW21, or as I like to call him, Mr. BTW21, uh, for filling in the weather uh, the last couple of days. So do know I'm here with you for a little while. So do expect uh, those, uh, not much of the weather forecasting, or for now anyway, changing, but do expect uh, we'll leave a little suspense at the end of tomorrow. But enough of that. Let's get you on to the forecast here. We're going to see a lot of sunny skies and much calmer weather. We're not going to see any thunderstorms. We're not going to see any high winds. Of course, as I reported to you earlier, that that woman that was struck by lightning earlier, I did read that to you on the newscast. Uh, remember, when you see thunder roar, head indoors, and when lightning strikes, always go inside, no matter what the circumstance is, especially if you're around bodies of water, such as this, Philpot Lake, uh, back around, around here. So get out there, take the boat out for, uh, for a cruise, or better yet, go do some fishing while you at it, too. And that is the time of year. I think we've got some trout and even um, sometimes, I can't think of that, but again, catfish is around non-salt water. So I don't think we have any catfish here in the area, but again, I'm not the um, agriculturalist or the fish person or whatever you want to call that. You may want to check with our friends up there at Philpot Lake. They would have more information about all of those fish and types as well. But again, lows tonight are staying in the 60s. As you make your way towards this evening hour, we'll see a northeast breeze come into a play right around 50 degrees is a very popular number for St. Story and Ridgeway as well as Ferrum and Boone's Mill. 49 both in Oak, Oak Level and Rocky Mount there. 51 both in Stewart and Woolwine. The good news is that we're going to see a much calmer wind this evening. So no matter what we're going to be seeing for tonight, we will see clouds thickening up. But again, don't expect to see any rain showers moving in by no means as our temperatures are going to remain very seasonable for this time of year. We, again, we're getting to the point now in this time of the month where the overnight lows, as Luis mentioned to you on Tuesday, that yes, we're going to be turning the AC on uh, in the morning and then we have to turn the uh, heat on or excuse me, turn the heat on in the morning and then you turn the AC on in the afternoon. So that's something to keep in mind as you're doing that out and about. But again, a nice evening to go go on the patio. Just remember a light jacket would be recommended. Maybe you're heading to some baseball games or any uh, tennis or whatever's going on golf. You shouldn't have to any weather worries as well. Best best way to go do golf and it's down there at the Chatham Moss Country Club. They did not pay me to say that, but again, it's a nice little area. I've been swimming out there just to give you an FYI. So if you're looking for a place to go swimming, I think that is a members, and I was invited just to give you a curiosity. All right, enough talking about me because this weather's for you, the audience members watching this, for our Thursday forecast. This is where we're going to see a lot nicer temperatures out there. We will begin to see low humidity develop once again. Highs are going to be in the upper 60s to low 70s as well. As you do see here, most of our coverage area is going to remain pretty nice for this time of the month. And again, nothing to be complaining about either. We will see an east-northeast breeze about 5 to 15 out there too. Our temperatures are going to be staying in the upper 60s for parts of Patrick County. We'll warm up in the upper 60s for Rocky Mountain 
down toward the city of Martinsville there. 71 in the Ridgeway at 67 Oak Level. We will come in at 66 there and Stewart as well as Fairham. And again, a beautiful afternoon is in the making for us. A little cooler than where we should be for this time of year, but they do expect to see morning clouds. These will taper off to afternoon sunshine with a mix of clouds and sun. So we'll see a good deal of sun clouds in the morning, and then we'll see a good deal of afternoon clouds and sunshine in the afternoon in the forecast. So do expect some mild weather for this uh, foreseeable future. These are average highs. You would see closer to early April than we would be seeing late mid to late May almost. So again, do expect to see another nice afternoon in our forecast. And again, our favorite slide, we always, always like to joke with Luis about this, especially when he fills in for me. Uh-uh, it ain't Luis's rating, it's Dustin's rating today, or Thursday's rating, I shall say. Similar today, like he gave an 8 out of 10, I'll agree on his um, a determination on that too. We'll see a high of 70 with a low of 50 degrees, so a 20 degree temperature difference there. Again, a little cloudy in the morning, but we'll see that partly sunny sky in the afternoon as well. We'll see a sunrise there at 6.09. We want to see your beautiful sunrise photos. Now this is the time of the year where things will begin to get much brighter before 6 a.m. And we're also going to see those temperatures warming back up in the low 70s for our daytime high. So let's go ahead and move you on now to our outlook for the next 14 days, the next two weeks. This map, by the way, is issued uh, starting through May 14th. So it's a recently new issued map. And you see a good chunk of the country is kind of almost divided in about a half, if not a 75 percent, kind of splits right there along the 48, the lower 48 handle panel. There we will see much warmer average temperatures for our friends to the Midwest and the Great Lakes area. That expands well out to the West Coast. Meanwhile, we're right in the middle where it's not too cold or not too hot, but we're going to see some much cooler temperatures as you do make your way again for the next several mornings. We will see those temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s, but again, they will be very short lived as you all know for this time of year that May is always a transition month from going right into spring directly in the summertime as well. But again, not much of a change in our forecast as we do as we have been showcasing you for the last several days as well. But again, expect a not a roller coaster, but an average temperature time frame as well. We'll see the 50s tonight. We'll see a mix of clouds and sun for your Thursday. Highs are going to be pushing the upper seven, upper 60s to low 70s. Do stick around. We've got a lot more coming up right after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic, where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zip My Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mountain Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue. Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards, and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now, with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. 
Ra 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 ra. Pete, Christmas is over, son. I ain't talking about Christmas season, Dan the Man. I'm talking about tax season, aka car buying season. In PVT Inc. down there in Field Hill, got 50 11 cars to choose from. They got big cars, they got small cars, they even got medium sized cars. My tax check was a little light this year, Pete. Well, that's okay too, Dan the Man, because they do finance. Like PVT Inc. on Facebook and ride by 4264 Appalachian Drive, Field Hill to view inventory. 50 11 more cars are coming in daily. We've been here for 25 years now, and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned, so we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much for spending part of your day on BTW 21. I'm Dustin Staples filling for Lou Shimero. Up next is your crime report, sponsored by our friends at Apex Bell Bonds. Dominique Johnson of Martinsville 28, charged with intercourse with child age 15 or more. Gary Joyce, 41 of Ridgeway, charged with bail release of unsecured bond, failed to appear in court for felony offense, failed to appear in court for misdemeanor offense. Michael Penn, 47 of Martinsville, charged with trespass after being forbidden to do so. Selena Barbara Beasy, Collinsville, charged with simple assault, malicious wounding, stab, cut, wound with malicious intent. Elizabeth Stoneman, 36 of Collinsville, charged with simple assault on law enforcement, fire rescue personnel, resisting arrest, obstruction justice by threats or force, trespassing after being forbidden to do so. Ricardo Cabriello Villa, of Whitesburg, Tennessee, charged with driving while intoxicated, first conviction. Traquan Hamlet, 26 Martinsville, charged with driving while intoxicated, first conviction. Robin Skills, 53 of Collinsville, charged with failed to perform construction in return for advances. warning signs of a stroke, learn how to recognize them, face drooping or twisting, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. Become a stroke hero by learning fast to help save lives and spread awareness. 
Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-8771. We thank you. Continue to stick around here for BTW 21 News. Up next is your obituary report. This is sponsored by Bassett Funeral Service. Larry Lee SQ 64 Baxton passed away Sunday, May the 14th, 2023. The family will receive friends Friday, May the 19th from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. at Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. A graveside service will follow at 2 p.m. at the Family Cemetery located in Axton. Online condolences, BassettFuneralService.com. Margaret Mickey Blankenship Beck, 74, of Martinsville, passed away Monday, May the 15th, 2023. The graveside service will be Thursday, May the 18th, at 3 p.m. at Roseland Burial Park. Wright Funeral Service is serving the family. Online condolences, wrightfuneralservice.net. Reba Harrison, 98 of Ridgeway, passed away May the 14th, 2023. The funeral will be held Friday, May the 19th at Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church at 11 a.m. Visitation will be at 10.30 a.m. until the time of that service. Wright Funeral Service is serving the family. Lawrence Dale McGee, 86 of Martinsville, passed away Saturday, May the 6th, 2023. Visitation was held Saturday, May the 13th at 1 p.m. at First Baptist Church of Collinsville. A celebration of life followed. Wright Funeral Service and Crema... Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Daryl B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336 
623-7778 for all your carryout or catering needs. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to say farewell and thank you very much for spending part of your day watching BTW 20 News on Martinsville County's only daily newscast. I am going to head off now and we're going to get you to more great local programming and of course another half hour of news somewhere in the mixed is on the way right after this.